Hey guys, Somebody's Gun here with episode 9 of Hindsight Rotations. Just want to say thank you to Frosty Jays for sharing the replay with me, and let's hop right into it. So there's going to be a couple different things that I see in this video that I want to point out. Uh, it would be useful both for him as well as for other players. Um, one of the things that we'll notice here, and we'll speed this up because it's not super necessary. We watched this spray early on. Uh, this isn't a great example, but there, there's one later in the game where he and his duo messages, they peek for too long. And one thing we'll see is that there's a pile of extra materials and they get 50-50 here. So what you want to do when this situation occurs for you, especially I believe they have over 500 materials here, you want to take up as much space as possible and just really own it and it was over 500 metal I know that there's 280 chilling right there I would continue to spend that so that way when you have to rotate or someone tries to take a fight you own all that space around you uh, it's just generally a good idea to own the space it really helps you rotate and as well control fights another refresh here so there's easily 700 metal or materials on them now they're stacked on builds what i want to say is once you realize you have that many builds you're not going to be able to use them and tunnel to next zone regardless of where it is you gotta take up space gotta take up space because otherwise those builds are just gonna get left unused um but this is the example that i saw of them peaking for too long so if anyone up in this top left corner over here, let's go back. So let's slow it down. If anyone over here is looking at him, this is an easy shot. His teammate really is going to hop into a good area where he can't be shot too easily. But you got to be careful with stuff like that. You can easily get picked off. Um, you know, snipers are strong. But... Tons of mats. Tons of mats. And they do a good job here of tunneling out. And one thing that is really smart by the duo here. Frosty drops all of his metal and then goes back to replenish. But if they went ahead and controlled some more ground earlier on. It would have helped them tunnel further. Or make a more effective tunnel I don't know. I'm just a big fan of not leaving things unused. So when you get a ton of material like that, go ahead and just use it. But do want to point out that he dropped the metal and ran back for more. Very smart play there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here on this rotate, you don't really need to use metal because you're not going to get a replenish here. Uh... When you go for the high ground retake, that's different, but he wasn't getting pressured. I would have used either, most likely wood. You want to use light builds on occasions like that when you're not being pressured just because you're only doing it precautionary. You know you're not being pressured at the moment, so save hard mats for when you are being pressured. When you're rotating for free, use wood. And... What I want to point out there is they take some serious damage and get stuck in the zone because on their previous high ground retake, if we go ahead and watch this, we'll hop out in zone free or drone free. But there's only one piece holding them up and you can shoot out either of these brick builds. Actually, any of them will knock them down. As well as one well-placed rocket in here is going to knock them down even further. So we see that happen. That's just uh, an unnecessary piece of damage that they take here. Let's go back into gameplay and watch the rest of this. Um, luckily they have healing. But it's something that could have been prevented. Now we'll watch them spread out here and do what I call covering zone. This is a theory or a technique that I've seen for a while now. Uh, it started back in the World Cup duos. We saw Calc and Mackwood do it well. 
really all it is is spreading out with your teammate. Let's get up in here so you see how they're on separate sides of the zone. Remember, Messages is his teammate, and then there's Frosty J's. But we see them spreading out, not relying on the same tarp. And it's not always the best idea, because if you're low on materials, that's not what you want to be doing. But if you're spreading out, it gives you different angles, more pressure on people down below. So generally just a good idea. And you're less likely to take fall damage or rocket damage, explode damage if you guys are in the same or if you guys are spread out. So try and do that. It's called covering the zone. Make sure you guys tarp forward. One person hangs out in the back. One person hangs out forward. Best way to do it. Um, we don't get to see it that well, but one thing I would have liked to see this team do a little better is pressure down below from seeing their materials and the stockpile of loot they had. I would have expected them to have a ton of AR ammo and other ammo. So when you're on high ground, you really want to be effective. You got to continue to put pressure on the teams below you. Uh, here's a good example where you could have taken out the AR and sprayed to avoid your opponent from healing up further. You, you hit him for white, so you know he can't chill there for too long. If you just spray, it'll definitely persuade him to take the fight, the 50-50, which you know you have the advantage, or push him back further into zone, or get you the kill. Anyway, they go ahead and close out this fight well. One thing that they do is wait for each other and drop down to fight as a, a duo. Very important, because you don't know who that player is down below. Always take the last fight as a team. Always try and take every fight as a team. Well, that's all I got for you guys. This is a quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Frosty Jays, and I'll see you guys next time on Hindsight Rotations.